Learn the truth, see the truth, and speak it. One thing I like to think about the truth is all will hear it, many will reject it, and few will follow it. So, what are you? Are you the few? Are you on the path that is narrow or the path that is wide? That is up to you. If you're still here watching this video, you're watching it for a reason. We all have this, this yearn in our souls or in our hearts where we never feel truly satisfied. All of us, including myself, try to fill those, fill that yearn in our soul with the things of this earth. But the things of this earth never truly satisfy. Uh, and there's a reason why we never truly feel, tr truly feel fulfilled. But I've mentioned this before, that the things of this earth are of little importance. They're just like our lives. They're here one minute and they're gone the next. They don't last. They're nothing sufficient. You may try to fill your heart with other people, but still feel let down. You may try to fill it with drugs, or you may try to feel it with emotions like anger or complaining. You may be constantly complaining about things. You may try to fill that with uh, with work, you may work, 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 and you're hoping that that will make you feel like you're living on this earth for a purpose. Uh, the thing about drugs is that drugs you just don't do once and they satisfy you and you're all good to go for the rest of your life. No, they don't satisfy and that's why you have to keep using. Drugs don't satisfy you the first time and they don't satisfy you the 100th time because they're the things of this earth and they weren't meant to satisfy us and no wonder we don't feel truly satisfied. Our creator created us to worship him, to love him, but we got distance from him along the way. So of course that distance we feel in our souls that's been passed on through generations of generations of generations. And a lot of you say, well, I don't think God has a place in my heart. I don't believe in God. I don't want to worship God. I posed this question before. If you're not worshiping God, you're already worshiping something. We were created to worship. It's hardwired in us. If you're not worshiping God, you're worshiping the things of this earth money, drugs, other humans. Okay, so this story is from the Gospel of John, uh, and this is about when Jesus is at the well, and he sits down and starts talking to the Samaritan woman, and I think that this little passage is a great example of God's fulfillment. So, this, the Samaritan woman says to Jesus, Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from its from himself, as did his sons and his livestock. And Jesus looked at the woman, and he answered with, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water that I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water that I give them will come in them, a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And the woman goes on to say, Lord, give me this water so I won't get thirsty again. So I think that's a perfect example of the, the fulfillment that God brings. The things of this earth, such as the water and that well, you have to draw up again. You drink from it and you feel satisfied at first, but a few hours later, you're thirsty again. You have to go back to the well. But he's not talking about physical water. He's using water as a general theme, as a metaphor to relate to this woman. What he's talking about is fulfillment in general. You can look at this well as anything of this earth, as drugs, as sex, as, as other humans. You have to keep going to it for feeling fulfilled, and you'll never, ever truly feel fulfilled by it. However, if you turn your gaze and focus on Jesus, he'll provide you with a well that will last not only on this earth, but for all of eternity. So don't focus on the things of this earth. They don't truly matter. What matters is where you focus, and that focus should be on God, because we were created to worship. And in doing that, He will change your life, and amazing things will happen. You'll be able to go forth, love one another, learn the truth, see the truth, and speak it. One thing I like to think about the truth is all will hear it, many will reject it, and few will follow it. So, what are you? Are you the few? Are you on the path that is narrow, or the path that is wide? That is up to you. Turn to God, give Him the glory, give Him praise. No one's born perfect, I'm not perfect, and you're not perfect, and that is exactly why we need Jesus, and that's exactly why Jesus is the way. Jesus didn't say that he found a way, or that this is the way to the Father, he said, I am the way to the Father. Jesus is the way, the light, and the life of the world, so go to him for your troubles, and don't try to sell your soul to the things of this earth, because he'll never, ever fulfill you. I hope you guys have a great day, Friday's tomorrow, so stay strong.